Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty interesting news that we're now actually seeing the full-on deep dive of other regions finally going and making their, well, PlayStation 5 being usable. And although we've had a lot of issues now, even still with scalpers and them kind of plaguing up these, well, everything, just scalpers are just hitting every single area still in different regions, different countries, different spots. America's kind of calming down at least a little bit, but in places like Japan or even in the UK or other countries, Canada, Australia, it's still a pretty big sizable force. But at least we're seeing a mixture of both kind of the scalping on the other side's calming down. Still prevalent, still an issue, still a problem. But as well, we're also seeing people actually using the consoles, getting the consoles and finally buying games in these other regions. So we're going to talk about quite a few different things and also a brand new big award coming out over here for PlayStation 2. So we're going to talk about a bunch of random things. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Xbox Series X or $500 cash. You guys get to pick and choose if you guys are subbed and use the Twitter and Twitch room down below to follow for bonus entries too. Just follow those tweets and such. We have the Target and Amazon links for all the signups too. We've had a lot of folks out there, go and get their Amazon sign up. So definitely go and check that on out. All linked down below. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Let's dive into the video itself. So very first and foremost, in case you guys have missed it, we've had a lot of really big issues and problems with scalpers when it comes to, well, you guys probably can hear it from people in Japan and people in other regions trying to make money and people just basically scheming the systems, scheming retail, scheming all that stuff. And that's the big thing is that we've been slowly seeing this calming down. Now, throughout these past, like, two years or so, we've been seeing Sony trying many different attempts to kind of stop these scalpers. They're asking retailers, like, to break boxes. We had other different types of systems with, like, lotteries, basically. We had them also try to incorporate things like having their IDs all interpreted with it. So you basically had to, like, show your proper driver's license to go and be like, hey, I've only bought one. They've had places that are only allowed to use company credit cards. So think, like, if you have an Amazon. Amazon or Target or Walmart credit card, you're only able to use that or that same store debit card. Uh, some folks are basically like having to take like photocopies of your IDs and double checking it. Basically in places like Japan and other regions, there has been a really big scalping and third party problem. But as it's been kind of slowly resolving itself, same in America, it's pushing towards a lot more normal consumers that are actually the people buying those consoles, you know, from the, the Japanese eBay or even American eBay or whatever. And we're now finally seeing a big push in towards people finally buying software, finally becoming normal, and finally becoming like a proper, like, usable console. And that kind of now goes to show that, that now finally, after all this time, the PS5 and PS4 is finally coming alive now again, especially in Japan. Now, James, Japan's always got a very intriguing place to look at, because when it comes to Japan, you would think like Sony, a Japanese-based company, would put a lot of extra love, a lot of extra umph into it, and be like, hey, like, cool, like, this is our, these are our people, like, this is our homegrown country, you know, but this is, we want to make sure people in our, like, nation enjoy the games we play and enjoy our experience. And, well, it finally seems like it's coming to life. So the PS5 and PS4 is finally shifting to some software in Japan again, and they are finally having a chance to enjoy their console after all this time. So cool news to see this, because as I've been mentioning, like other regions haven't been getting the same love that we've been getting here in America. Like Americans on record have around seven to nine average big game triple A purchases, which is, I think, a big thing to note. But when it comes to other regions, it's been on record, such as like China, India, and sometimes even Japan, their software sales are usually lower and the hardware sales are about the same, depending on the region, but they usually get less stock because they just, Sony basically knows people in America are going to buy the game, so they want to sell more games in America, PS Plus subscriptions and all that. So basically, while the PS5 has attracted a somewhat sizable install base in Japan, which is now, as I mentioned, kind of getting cleared up here from scalpers, there's been some, some, some concern about its software sales. We know the industry at large is gradually shifting towards digital, while Famatsu's charts have painted a particular bleak picture for PlayStation software of late, with the Nintendo Switch effectively steamrolling Sony's system week after week. This has led to some observers to question whether the new-gen system is even staying in the country or is simply being exported around Asia. And that kind of goes and ties into a big thing we've been noting, and it kind of leads into a bigger issue too, is that a lot of these scalpers have still been selling consoles to other regions, which is why they're trying so hard to stop this big, like, scalper push and 
everything else in between. It's just not been a good experience because you're, you'll buy consoles for $550 here in America, and then you just instantly go and yoink those to China, to like Russia, to UK, to Poland, where, wherever you go, and they're making good profit. That's why they're kind of concerned over in Japan, although it kind of seems like it's slowly becoming less of an issue because it seems like at least some new software sales are going up. So at least like it's hopefully kind of clearing out and hopefully like as people are doing these console arbitrage of buying at $700 and selling at like, you know, 600 or vice versa, uh, basically hopefully get a little bit better. But I feel like I've worded so this video so poorly so far, <laughs> but basically this week so far at least has been a better for both the PlayStation 5 and PS4s, even with all that prior drama that I try to shove in the first few minutes of the video for the context of this, which is kind of hard. So basically for the physical software sales, God of War Ragnarok. Which is funny, too, because a lot of these outside regions of games, like, say, like, a Japanese game, uh, is not usually the same type of market as, like, say, an American game. And also, like, once again, vice versa. So God of War is, I feel like, very Americanized. It's built by an American studio, and it has, definitely has a lot of American consumers in mind. But that's why it's great to see in Japan, because it seems like it's still doing good sales. Uh, so, for example, basically entered in for the charts in third place, although in the UK it was a solid number one, and America, without a doubt, it's probably number one on that. We don't have the information yet, but I'm sure without a doubt it is. And it was basically sold best, funny enough, on the PlayStation 5. Despite the new-gen system's smaller install base compared to the PS4, it only, only moved 29,000 units and 11,000 units, respectively. But it's not a bad return under the circumstances, as also Sonic Frontier is also funny enough sold better on the PS5 than the PS4. Although it, of course, performed best on the Nintendo Switch, which for some other reason I can kind of understand. It kind of seems like we usually see a lot of these, like, Nintendo-based games. Uh, and I, I don't know. I feel like Sonic has, like, that homage. Like, I think I kind of remember a lot of playing Sonic games on, like, GameCube. And although it isn't, like, a full-on IP of Nintendo, it kind of makes sense. Like, you know, you kind of it kind of reminds me of Mario, that same type of glossy, kind of goofy character. I don't know, I played a lot of, like, the Sonic Battle Adventures on GameCube myself, so it's kind of almost synonymous with the Switch. And even I kind of think that now it's weird, it's like, <laughs> it's where you can play a Sonic game on the PS5. So, well, elsewhere, both the PS5 and PS4 versions of Tactics Ogre Reborn, which I haven't even heard that game, and I'm a Twitch streamer, uh, again, they were outperformed by the Nintendo Switch version, but managed to actually make a top 10. This is all up in Japan. So that means more than half of this week's physical Famatsu sales chart is made up now of PlayStation games, which it kind of seems like the PlayStation, once again, is kind of coming alive. Not that these scalper issues are calming down and people are having a chance to get the games. So it's basically a rare occurrence of late. As we said, as for the hardware, the PS5 did totally fine, moving close to another 30,000 units. Everything will be swept away by Pokemon in next week's report, but it's nice to see a PlayStation a little steadier in its domestic nation for once. And that's what I kind of brought up too, is that for some reason, PlayStation has definitely focused in American and UK markets very heavily. Now, it makes sense. We usually do do a lot more spending for holidays, for general game purchases, for digital. We're very in tune with gaming as well for YouTube and Twitch streamers, etc. Like if you guys are ever watching this video. But it kind of is also kind of sad to see that Japan, played by scalpers, played by people trying to move consoles from different regions, as even this article mentioned, and I mentioned myself. But at least we are now seeing it kind of pop alive and actually having games on the systems and all this, which is very nice to see. So basically the Japan sales you guys can see right now is Splatoon, which that Switch has a very strong foothold everywhere in Japan. Tactics Ogre, we see God of War of Ragnarok, Sonic Frontiers in fourth right behind it, God of War on the PS4, and all the other Sonic Frontiers and various other platforms. And obviously Mario Kart's always there. And obviously if you guys want to look at the Japan sales, PlayStation 5 at 25,000, Switch OLED at 58,002, Switch Lite at 25,000, and PlayStation 5 Digital at 3,000, and all the other various consoles, even the Xboxes, are kind of getting rocked down below. So very nifty things to go and see. And as well, some other kind of big reminders too. We did also have a pretty big, uh, basically, confirmation from the big game conference calling and calling the God of War Ragnarok Game of the Year, which is awesome to go and see. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Very nice to see on that. And I'm going to be very curious to see what the Game of the Year awards goes and pushes for as well and see if they somehow win. And on top of that, too, there has also still been really big sales for a lot of PlayStation 5 games. We covered this on a prior video, but controllers for like 50 bucks, 
Ratchet and Clank up for everything else too. Ghost of Tsushima on sale, Spider-Man on sale. A lot of these various games, even the Gotham Knights, are all up on sale. So check all your big retailers, Amazon, Best Buy, PlayStation Store, etc. to see if there's any stock floating around everywhere. And last but not least too, apparently Assassin's Creed Valhalla is now getting <laughs> not getting the highly requested New Game Plus mode too as well, which I think is fine. This game has been out for many years, and let's just go get a proper brand new working Assassin's Creed. That'd be very nice to see. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for our $500 giveaway, we have the Xbox, we have the PlayStation, we got everything else too. And the Twitter and Twitch stream down below for the bonus entries and the Amazon Target signups. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.